Okay, here's another update of the Land Rover. So I've been working over here on this side, welding in some plate. I haven't started on this side yet, but uh, first part is it that I cut it back even further before it was about up to here, but I cut it all the way back more so I can get back into here and get some cleaner welds going down in because it was blocking half the plate that I needed to put in there. So I cut a piece from cardboard and then I took it to took it over to the plate that I got a 14 gauge. I traced it and I drew, put a drain hole in there for the frame rail. And over here, you can see in there, you can't really see, but there's a drain hole in that one too. So I kind of duplicated it over here. And then underneath, you can see the top part of the underneath plate that I put in. So let's go down underneath. All right. So underneath here, it's the underneath of the frame. This was nothing more than a big hole, this whole length of the rail. And uh, so I cut it out, I trimmed it real close to the vertical pieces right here, the vertical part of the frame. So I trimmed it real close, got a piece of the cardboard again and cut it out and it traced it onto the 14 gauge sheet metal I got. So I started doing some stitch welding and it wasn't really doing all that great it was it was just real choppy welds some of them so I ended up doing just kind of like plug welds the whole way down just kept on spot welding the whole way and then uh, I grounded them all down and one thing also is back here while I was welding I blew a big huge hole right here because the metal was too thin and I second guessed myself and I should have actually just taken it all the way back to where the bump stop for the axle is. I should have just took the plate all the way back to here and welded right across the bottom of that. But oh well. But it's pretty good right here the metal so I didn't want to go too much further but it ends up over here the metal was too thin. So anyways I did another patch here like a little piece and I just kind of welded it together. But okay so then down here on a, the dumb iron part is this was a big hole here and I welded it did the exact same thing made a little plate and stuff so down here same thing had happened up on the other end this was too thin over here again I should have cut it wider but you know you don't realize that until you start welding so I made a little piece right here and I welded that in too so then I took a flat disc and I ground all the welds down so that's all I've done so far to it. I've been eyeballing the other side up a little bit. So this is my plan for the other side. Is it wasn't as bad as the other side where the big hole was, but it's got some rust through holes here. You can see with a sharpie I kind of traced out where I'm gonna cut. I'm gonna cut it actually wider. Then here, another spot, I'm gonna cut it out bigger. I like to take Sharpie and go around just kind of get me an idea where I'm going to be cutting. And then here too, so I'm going to cut around like that, go against the frame rail there. But we'll see how that goes. I may even have to end up cutting, cutting it more, but we'll see. And then this one, you can see here, this one's all solid. It didn't rust through or rust it or anything. So, so I'm going to do the rail next, this rail next to get that done. And then I'm going to tackle this whole mess. Alrighty. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.